Today, uh, our webinar will be on the first part of 2023 tips pre-processing. So this will be today's outline. We will first be covering some new and improved CAD tools and mesh tools. Then we'll move on and talk about wizard enhancements, including material wizard, modeling wizard, and last but not least, the process wizard enhancements. So without further ado, let's get started. So first, I would like to show you some new and improved CAD tools. We have added in a lot of new CAD tools under the 2023 version. And this includes seven new CAD tools under the Create Toolbar, which will allow you to create additional geometries. And also three new tools under the Edit Toolbar, which will allow you to fix and um, uh, edit your geometry before the mesh generation. So let's go through all of them one by one. So first, we have the Extract Channel Wizard. This function will allow you to extract the channel geometry very easily and automatically from the full mold base. So to better demonstrate this, let's take a look at the demo video. So here we have a full mold base, and all you have to do is to select all the geometries that you would like to extract the channels from. Then the extractable ones will be highlighted orange. Then you will be able to pick and select on the geometries that you want to extract. And you will see that they are highlighted red. And after selecting all the geometries that you wanted to extract, for example, the runner or the cooling channels, then click on enter. The software will then automatically extract the geometries for you. And you can see that they will be shown as non-attribute elements. So later on, you can uh, further uh, process the geometry. So that was our uh, extract channel wizard. And let's move on to the next one, the between curve function. So this function, as how its name saying, uh, it's a function that will allow you to create between curves in between the two input curves that you have selected. You will be able to specify number of between curves that you want and also a directional reference. So let's also take a look at a demo video of how it can be applied in reality. So when setting up a simulation, we all know that line-defined runner is better for our Modex 3D simulation. And with the central line function, we can get the curve, curve very easily from channel geometry. But as you can see here, uh, this geometry, we have some kind of U-shaped uh, runner here. And how to get a line-defined uh, runner here, the between curve function will be able to help us get this line uh, runner. So all you have to do is to select the two edges and then click on the between curve and you will see that the software will be able to uh, extract the line-defined runner for you very automatically. 